Hello, everybody, and good morning. Welcome to our daily devotional time together. I am Allie Cobb, Director of Family Ministries here at St. John's United Methodist Church. And today is Tuesday, March 28th, 2023. And thank you so much for joining me for our daily time together. This is our point in the day where we get to pause together as a community of faith and read in the Upper Room Daily Devotional together, share in some scripture, prayer, and reflection. If you're joining me now live or even a little bit later on in the day, if you want to leave a comment below, we always like to know which ones of our friends popped by for the day. Today I will be in the book of Philippians, so if anybody has their Bibles with them or would like to follow along, the book of Philippians is where we will be at. Um, if not, feel free just to listen along as always. Today's a little bit of a cold and chilly and windy day, but I looked at the forecast and it looks like later on this week um, and everything, it should be a little bit warmer. We're having our community egg hunt um, this upcoming Saturday and it looks like really as long as there's not rain or snow, I'm not going to even care about how cold it is, but I think we're actually going to get a little bit warmer, decent weather. So that is just an added bonus. But I've done a few years where on Easter it was cold and wet um, and even snowing. So now for an egg hunt, an outdoor egg hunt, as long as it's not snowing, I'm going to consider it um, a success. <laughs> so it looks like there will be no snow, no snow in the forecast this weekend, and it looks like we might even get some good weather and some sunshine. So I'm excited about that. Good morning, Barbara. It is good to see you this morning. Give everybody another minute or two to hop on, and then we will begin. Um, book of Philippians chapter 4, um, and I'll be verses 10 through 13. Okay, let us begin. Philippians chapter 4, verses 10 through 13 of the Common English Bible. It was I was very glad in the Lord, because now at last you have shown concern for me. Of course, so you were always concerned, but had no way to show it. I'm not saying this because I need anything, for I have learned how to be content in any circumstance. I know the experience of being in need and of having more than enough. I have learned the secret to being content in any and every circumstance, whether full or hungry, or whether having plenty or being poor. I can endure all these things through the power of the one who gives me strength. And our focus verse for today comes from Philippians chapter 4, verses 13 of the NRSV. And it reads, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And our thought for today is no matter my circumstance, I will trust Christ to give me strength. And our um, devotion today from the upper room comes from Peter of Florida. And these are the thoughts that he shares with us today. I can do all things. In the last week of my dad's life, he didn't complain as he lay in the ICU. Instead, he wanted to be sure that I was getting enough rest at night and that I understood how to handle the affairs of his home. Some days he would ask to hear scripture read aloud. He loved Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He repeated those words with a calm confidence that his good shepherd would lead him along the last stretch of his past on earth. The Apostle Paul had experienced a series of unusual circumstances. He recalled his successes and failures, the time when his cupboard was bare, and the times the friends provided him home-cooked meals. Yet despite everything he faced, Paul shows us that when we learn to trust in Christ, we find contentment. And whatever we face today, God is always at work, both in us and in our circumstances. With God's help, but we, and in God's help, we all will be able to say, it really is true. I can do all things through Christ who gives, who strengthens me. And our prayer focus for today is patience in the intensive care unit. Um, when thinking about today's devotion and how our author is reflecting on the time when um, he was caregiver to his father in the ICU, they can relate with that, um, as I've had a child that has unfortunately had to spend a little bit of time in the intensive care unit, um, is fine now, but at the time um, is very, very stressful. Um, he was so young at the time. Um, obviously, he knew something was going on and something was out of his norm, um, but he did not thankfully understand the gravity of the situation. 
um, but I myself as his caregiver um, felt those stresses. Um, intensive care units, hopefully nobody has ever had to spend any amount of time in one, um, but if you have, um, it's a not great club, um, but with really good members. Um, those of us that have been in those positions know just how daunting um, time there is. A um, lot of monitoring and checks and noises and bright lights and things that are constantly needing um, attention and everything. Normally in an ICU situation, it's pretty much um, a one-on-one -on -one ratio with nurse to patient, sometimes two patients, but most of the time um, it's just one nurse per one patient because that patient needs so much care. Um, and while I was there, um, I had so many St. John's members reach out to me um, and ask, can we bring you something to eat? <laughs> um, I was a little distraught at the time, so um, I did not want anything to eat. Um, but just that reaching out um, to know that we were being thought of and cared for and loved by our St. John's family and the offering for them to stop their day. Obviously, that was not something that they had planned out um, in their day to do, um, but they were willing to stop and help me out or help us out in that situation. So when thinking about um, how in times when your cupboard is bare, um, even though our cupboards weren't bare, um, emotionally my cupboard was a little bit bare, and just that offering that um, community, that um, one table, uh, so to speak, aspect of people offering um, a meal to us and everything meant more than the meal itself um, could ever. So when thinking about today, if you know somebody who's going through any health situation, um, whether it be mental, physical, emotional, um, just reaching out and offering a meal, um, or if you, the person's stubborn like me, not offering a meal, but just telling them, this is when I'm bringing a meal over, um, that's basically what my husband did. He would be like, well, I'm stopping off here. What should I pick you up? <laughs> um, which some people you just have to be more forthright with. Um, and maybe you know that person's personality and everything. Um, but as you go forth today, know that Christ is there to give you strength. And so is your St. John's community um, in any circumstance that you might be facing. Let us pray. Dear God of strength, open our hearts so that we may learn contentment. Help us always to trust in you and your son who strengthens us. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me for our daily devotional time today. I see that Jack Dunbar also stopped by and joined us live today. It's good to see you as well, Jack. Um, and I will see everybody um, again tomorrow. Take such good care on your Tuesday, and I will see you back here. Same time, same place. Take care. Bye-bye.